Mandó a echar la tabla. Mandó a echar la leña. Come on in, Bob. Kelly, come on in. They say if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. This is where you, you cook the barbacoa. This is where we cook the barbacoa. And that's exactly what Armando Vero's parents did when they started cooking, not in a kitchen, but in a hole in the ground almost half a century ago. Been doing it for 47 years. You think he got it down? Ah, uh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> And now Vera's Backyard Barbecue in Brownsville is the only business in Texas and one of a few in the country still allowed to sell meat cooked in an underground pit. Food regulations have changed over the decades, but this traditional barbacoa shop remains the same. Barbacoa, barbacoa, it's something that originated in Mexico. There's uh, ranchers where, where they don't have any refrigeration. You know, they, they, they they slaughter an animal, and then it's got to be eaten that day or the following day, because somebody came up with the idea of digging a hole in the ground, putting some wood in there, putting the beef head there, leave it overnight, and take it out in the morning, and you got your barbacoa. Beer is cinder block smokehouse smolders all night, and in the morning, they unearth a culinary buried treasure. What sells the most is the cheek meat, which is, uh, is the lean. And then you sell the tongue, and, and the, like, like I've always mentioned it, you know, the Mexican caviar or the ice, the eyeballs. You know, that's, we're sold out on that by six o'clock. Not one bit of beef is wasted in authentic barbacoa, and Vera's is as real as it gets. Customers pick it up by the pound, or pair it with tortillas and fresh salsa to make tacos that speak for themselves. It's, you know, we let, we let our food do the talking. I don't talk about our competitors. I let the customers do that. I'm not gonna say that mine's better than his or his is better than, no. I let the customers do that. We let our food do the talking. You're pretty confident in your food though. I've been doing it for 47 years. How could you not be? <laughs> it's amazing and I really wish I would have discovered it a lot sooner. You can tell it's made with love. Love, yeah. And a lot of skill. Since he was just a teenager, Armando Vera has tended a fire lit by his parents. His passion still burns for a recipe that has stood the test of time, provided for multiple generations, and preserved his family's heritage. Why are you passionate about it? It's in the blood. You know, you're born with it. You're born with it, it's in the blood. It's, you know, you've got a passion for it. And when you like to do something and you have a passion for it, that's when you can perfect it. You, know, you, you get to, you know, you gotta be proud of what you do. You gotta be proud of what you do. Looking for more stories like this one? Just hit the subscribe button for more great stories about Texas and Texans.